So um, today the um, uh, the the Crown Prince was accorded ceremonial uh, welcome at the uh, Rashtrapati Bhavan at the forecourt, and after that uh, we had the uh, the Prime Minister hosted uh, the, the Crown Prince for the uh, one to one, uh, not one to one, restricted level, uh, you know, discussions, followed by the Strategic Partnership Council uh, meeting, as I mentioned, and then the Prime Minister also hosted a luncheon and a working lunch, you know, for him. Uh, thereafter, now in the evening, uh, the Crown Prince would call on the Rashtrapati. Uh, and the Rashtrapati ji will also be hosting a banquet and thereafter the Crown Prince is uh, expected to depart this evening itself. So um, uh, at the outset of the discussions which we had in the morning, the, uh, the Crown Prince uh, congratulated India for a very successful G20 uh, meeting with uh, lots of uh, uh, um, you know, major outcomes uh, in that meeting. The Prime Minister also um, acknowledged that the Kingdom had been very actively participating in the G20 meetings and uh, especially the two sides expressed their happiness at the launching of the India Middle East Economic Corridor as one of the major outcomes of the G20 under India's presidency. Uh, the, the Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister also congratulated the Kingdom on becoming a full member of the BRICS of course, as a follow-up of their, uh, uh, you know, membership in the CEO. Uh, uh, thereafter, uh, the two sides had uh, uh, long discussions. The, um, the Crown Prince uh, went on to mention that India and Saudi Arabia have a long history of friendship over several hundreds of years and uh, no instances of any differences or conflict, that kind of bonhomie he was emphasizing. Um, he also mentioned that uh, both the Kingdom and India are the two fastest economies, uh, uh, were the two fastest economies in 2022 last year and continues to be so and it is expected that the two countries uh, would remain, uh, 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 you know, the leading economic growth um, uh, countries of the world for the next one decade or so. So, and so there are so many uh, different areas in which the two countries could uh, uh, could uh, cooperate and the two sides identified areas such as energy cooperation, uh, defense, security, education, technology, transportation, uh, healthcare, tourism and culture. Both sides also identified space and semiconductors as another other areas of uh, uh, cooperation. Um, they agreed to diversify their, their, uh, the current status of their hydrocarbon uh, relationship into a comprehensive energy partnership. Um, both sides, the Prime Minister as well as the Crown Prince, extended their full support to the early implementation of the West Coast refinery projects, uh, which as you know is a trilateral cooperation between Aramco, Adnok and the Indian companies, uh, for which funds to the tune of $50 billion are already earmarked. Now the new thing which has come up is that the two sides agreed to set up a joint task force uh, to help in identifying and channelizing the $100 billion investments which was actually promised by the Saudi side, half of which was for the uh, uh, for the refinery and again to to have uh, 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 a monitoring committee uh, to ensure that the the progress in the these refinery projects are done as per the uh, you know the the plans laid out by both sides discussions also revolved on uh, the grids various types of uh, grids like power grid gas grid water grid optical fiber network um, you know, so that the two countries could, you know, cooperate. Uh, important, uh, another important element was that the two sides also agreed to expedite the India GCC FTA negotiations, which they felt is uh, would act as a catalyst for further uh, strengthening our economic cooperation between the two sides. Uh, they also agreed to strengthen cooperation in the fintech uh, 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 field and also explore uh, trading in the local currencies. This was this was discussed. Uh, uh, the two leaders expressed their satisfaction at the uh, at the um, uh, the volume of trade, the trade uh, uh, level with both countries have reached. India being the second largest uh, trading partner of Saudi Arabia, and Saudi being the fourth largest trading partner of uh, India. Um, again, uh, the Prime Minister also laid uh, laid emphasis on uh, uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on certain sectors, and he mentioned uh, um, certain sectors for cooperation. So he mentioned critical 
critical minerals as, as one area. Uh, food security is another area which was mentioned, uh, especially it is of Saudi interest, creation of food parks and, and other things. Uh, since we have a very good uh, startup ecosystem in India, uh, Prime Minister emphasized on the need for setting up a startup bridge between India and Saudi Arabia. Uh, on the education and uh, education field, the Prime Minister, in the light of the new education policy, uh, uh, you know, emphasized on the need for strengthening cooperation in this sector, particularly in the student exchange program and university to university and institution to institution level collaborations. Um, and he also suggested, our Prime Minister suggested that uh, a joint working group on education and skill development could be set up to kind of explore this. Uh, also in the context of uh, culture and uh, people to people, the cooperation in the field of uh, uh, film making also came up. Uh, so uh, both sides uh, agreed that this is another area where we can work together. I am um, happy to share with you that uh, uh, during this visit uh, as many as eight agreements have been signed and uh, the important ones uh, or I'll just uh, uh, read out to you is agreement one is the field of energy uh, which was signed by the uh, Saudi Minister of Energy and our Minister of uh, uh, New and Renewable Energy. Um, then uh, there was an agreement uh, uh, on between the uh, agreement in the field of digitalization and electronic uh, manufacturing between the uh, IT ministries of both sides. There was one agreement between the uh, uh, CVC of India and its counterpart, the Saudi Oversight and Anti-Corruption Authority. And the fourth agreement was between the National Archives. Then there was an agreement uh, between the uh, two investment entities, that is the Invest India on the Indian side and the Ministry of Investment on Saudi side. There was another agreement between the two Exim banks. There was also uh, uh, another agreement between the, uh, the small and medium enterprises uh, bank, uh, uh, banks of two sides, that is SIDBI and the SME Bank of uh, Saudi Arabia. And uh, the last one was in the field of desalination. Um, in addition to these, there are uh, several other agreements which are under various stages of discussion. The prominent one is the one on grid connectivity, which is uh, in the advanced stages of discussion. We are also separately discussing with the Saudi side a visa waiver agreement for diplomatic passports, which is not yet uh, ready, but we hope that it would be uh, ready soon.